I thought of the idea of Corvid Eye, I wanted to come up with a really simple, universal idea for a story that we could tell firstly silently and one that tied into those kind of universal primal ideas. Covid I really stuck out as being a sort of wonderfully compelling story and something that really deserved a bit of time. In a very small amount of time we've, we've come from nothing to this fairly big ambitious production where we have puppetry, we have CG animation, we've got green screen, we've got an amazing star. I'd seen her in a few episodes of uh, Game of Thrones where she plays Arya and I just thought she was brilliant. We, you know, it's very hard to find actresses of her age who are so characterful and so just sort of expressive, particularly because it's a silent film, you need that expression to come across. Just in her face, a lot of the time, we are, we are telling the story through just the reactions of her face. And so it was really important to me that we had an actress that could do that. Working with Maisie was an absolute joy. Um, she just went above and beyond the call of duty in terms of her involvement with the project. She was really into the story. She was really into engaging with it. And there's all kinds of crazy stuff that she gets up to in the film. When I um, started to develop the project, the first thing I did was turn to two friends of mine who are both brilliant artists and start working with them on developing a look for the film. One's a really brilliant guy called Ben Kovar, who's a concept artist. He, he designs monsters mostly for big, amazing films like 300 and uh, the Titans films, Wrath of the Titans and the Pirates of the Caribbean films, he's worked on those as well. The other friend of mine is a guy called Dave Lupton who is a really amazing children's book illustrator. He, he does all kinds of illustrations for children's books and things like that. Just developed a sort of um, look for the whole thing. So when I first went, went out to Alex, to Nick, but also to other people, we could show them this work and say, this is what we're trying to make. We now need to really focus on the effects and need, need some extra help with making sure that we get those CG shots really well done. Well, I can't really reveal why because I don't want to blow the plot, but the, but the CG shots really are the cherry on the cake, are the sort of final scene of the whole piece. The story that we're trying to tell, however small and intimate it is, and it is, it's a very small film, it still has some really big, exciting visual moments. And what we need to do now, what we're hoping for your help to do, is to build those big visual moments. And that means we need a budget for CG. We, you know, we basically need a big post-production budget. Yeah.